she is really sad. Um, she's very aware of, you know, what transpired that day. She's very aware that she's lost a lot of her classmates and a lot of her friends have died. Tonight, we are hearing from a native San Diegan whose young cousin survived the Uvalde shooting at the school. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Steve Price. And I'm Kirsten Holmes. Melissa Abeda is seeing her nine-year-old cousin for the first time after she survived Tuesday's massacre at Robb Elementary School in Uvalde. CBS 8's Ariana Cohen shares how she's supporting her little cousin after this horrific event. It's just, it's just been very difficult, but it's just been overwhelming, to be honest. San Diego native and SDSU graduate Melissa Abeda was in shock to find out her nine-year-old cousin, Kendall, was inside Robb Elementary School when a gunman rushed in, killing 19 students and two teachers. My phone started going off and I was getting a lot of messages, people actually from San Diego. That's when we realized that my little cousin was at the school where the shooting was at. They were, she was already en route to San Antonio for, um, for surgery. Kendall was in the same classroom as the two teachers. Kendall survived. She was shot in her arm. And then from my understanding, the bullet, I want to say it ricocheted through different parts of her bodies. Um, I know that she has wounds in her tailbone, buttocks area and in her leg. Luckily, Abeda now only lives just hours away in Texas. Today, she drove many miles to visit Kendall in the hospital, bringing her get well cards from her daughter's classmates. Because, you know, she was in the classroom where she lost a lot of her classmates and a lot of her friends. And so I just thought, what if, you know, other fourth graders sent her well wishes? Well, she would know that she's not alone. It's just really incredibly sad you know, to to process that as a nine year old, I could imagine. Kendall has a long recovery ahead that could last several months or longer. She's had two surgeries and is expected to have another surgery this weekend. You can donate to her GoFundMe page to help with medical expenses. We have that link up on CBS8.com. Ariana Cohen, CBS8.